Back in January, a fire in downtown Escanaba killed one person and destroyed several businesses. One of the building owners impacted by the fire is Craig Warple, the director of the Escanaba Downtown Development Authority, who has been on hand as the area is being demolished and cleaned up. The building was built in 1890. It was Gros Drugstore. It was Gros Drugstore until the late 1980s. And uh, it was the end of a, a photography studio. I knew Andy Pearson, who owned the building. When he passed away, I bought the building from his mother, Nancy. And we had the building ever since. I had my own business in there for a very long time. Uh, so we had a creative design firm in there. So even a video studio and, and a lot of other uh, computers and things like that. So really only three businesses over the history of the building, now well over 100 years old. Hate to lose a 100 year old building in the downtown. We tried to see if we could save it, uh, but we, we couldn't. And even though we know it needs to come down, it's heartbreaking to see a history like this come down. Beautiful tall ceiling on the first floor, you know, with the plastered ceilings and everything that we tried to get out, but couldn't, couldn't get it out, it was attached even after 100 years, it was attached a lot. Our building became an organ donor, to so to speak. So there's a toilet at the scout camp up in Munising. There's a hot water heater and an apartment on the south side of Escanaba. Talking with a woman who took over a building downtown, she was looking for transom material to put into her building to replace what was there. So she ended up taking a lot of that out of our building here, some of the other doors as well. Um, so people were able to kind of reuse part of the building. So in essence, the building will live on. Warple says he has hope for the future of this space in downtown Escanaba. Uh, you hate to see another hole in the downtown. Having three properties here, we're going to attempt to try and bundle it to see if somebody's interested in doing something. I'd like to see a mixed use property where you have commercial on the first floor and residential on the top floors and hopefully we can find somebody that's willing to do that. There's a lot of revitalization in the town right now, and so hopefully that, that momentum will be able to help redevelop this property. As we learn more about the future of this site, we will update you on here and on upmatters.com.